Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What is up, everyone? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we've got some more LEGO Harry Potter years 5 through 7 for you. In fact, this one happens to be some more free room. This is going to cover the common room corridor, or more commonly referred to as the dorm room area. Now, you're going to need a strong character, a dark magic character, and a key character, and you can get those by completing the story and the free play. And you might have noticed we're going to get a handful of collectibles as well, so... Uh, my map previews are getting a little bit uh, squirrely. They started off pretty clean, but now they're getting a little bit uh, dancey. Hopefully, uh, it'll be all right in the final version. But, uh, oh, to the end. Uh, here we are. We have simply made our way from the grand staircase into the dorm room area, or the common room corridor, as it's referred to on the map that we use, provided by the Bonefish Gamer. Now, we should have came in and gave a quick look at the old guide there. We can see we got gold brick, a student in peril, and seven character tokens. But I immediately got off and run and started targeting these banners now you can see there are eight of them total and basically there's at least one by every single dorm room entrance a couple of them have two and yes we're going to show you where they all be and once we get them all we're actually going to get that gold brick so woo to the who you know us we love us some gold not when it's just stud form but also the big bricks that we uh collect and add to our pile so Oh, to the yeah, we've gotten all eight of the banners flown, and we are going to go collect our reward. So, uh, double back into the little hallway here that leads into, what is that? That's the Gryffindor hallway, right? Oh, yeah. All right, so Gold Brick is now officially ours. Now, hey, keep in mind, we do have quick links down below in the video description, and if you're looking for something specific, feel free to use those. Otherwise, use Leviosa in this little hallway here to go ahead and build up both the silver statues, one on the left, one on the right. And then once they're both there shining away, go ahead and pull out Reducto and blast them away. And wait for it. Booyaka show. Look at that. We've got the character token for a fat lady. That's not very nice. What about the uh, mildly overweight lady? Let's, let's just call her what she is. Huh? All right. Uh, over on the left-hand side, right in front of the Slytherin entrance, we're going to find a parcel tongue puzzle. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can hack that and match the memory there. Oh, and look at that. we got to turn it around upside down. That's right. There was a student stuck inside that cabinet. And luckily for us and him, we have freed him. I can't imagine that Hogwarts needs any kind of lawsuits and... You know, getting stuck in a cabinet's probably not uh, good for that. But hey, there is a cauldron right here, right in the middle. We're going to go ahead and take a little sip of some Polyjuice Potion and choose a Dark Magic character. Now, hopefully it'll give you a key character as well. I, actually, I don't think we need a key character, so don't worry too much about that. But uh, we'll use the Dark Magic over the Slytherin door entrance here. And we'll go ahead and look at that. We've rebuilt the pieces that fell from the Dark Magic shaken. And we've got ourselves a pink base plate, or a bag of tricks pad, as I like to call it. We'll go ahead and use Hermione to go ahead and sneak inside that bag. And what do we got? Well, we've got this giant, looks like a door ramrod. We just went ahead and slammed that door open. And it gave a bunch of studs and Blaze Zabini. And we'll go ahead and throw him in our overall collectibles. Now, uh, the way I've done this is kind of a little bit awkward, it might seem. But I promise you, we did all of our homework and found that the ghost with all of those collectibles right there actually... Uh, pertains to all of the collectibles in this particular area, as well as the Slytherin dorm room and the Hufflepuff dorm room. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and hack this bookcase over here with Hermione, get Ron in his pajama jammy jams, and we're going to keep on keeping on. Now, of course, we also have to enter the old Slytherin room over here. So you can see we've got a few to go still, but we've got this door open thanks to some dark magic and some Leviosa. And look at that, we are in the Slytherin corridor as per labeled on our map. And hey, if you haven't checked out our map, there is a link down below in the video description. And again, shout out to the old Bonefish Gamer, AKA Headfish. Uh, for putting that map together. Not necessarily for us, but just in general now. Check it out. We've got Draco sweater for simply solving the old parcel tongue puzzle right there in the bottom. Now over on the left-hand side of the staircase, or in the area, you're going to see a little tank that needs some aquamenti. So go ahead and fill that up. And once it's all filled to the brim, go ahead and jump on this jumper here. Get your baboing on. Look at that. We have overfilled the snake or basilisk over on the right-hand side. And da -da -da -da, we got Goyle Jumper Edition, rather suiting as we had to jump up and down on that pump and go ahead and pump it up. 
And all right, a couple of bluesies down below, and hey, we are still working towards our first billion to get that trophy achievement, and we're not there yet. So hey, feel free to grab as many as you want. We're gonna try not to bore you with too many things. You can see there's a couple of blues floating around up high. Not exactly sure how you get those. I'm sure there's a real easy way right in front of us. But look, all right, we got the gold brick, got the student apparel, but we still need two more character tokens. So we're going to head back down the old common room corridor. And we're going to use dark magic on this doorway right here that'll allow us entrance into the Hufflepuff corridor, which as soon as we start, we can actually notice that there are a couple of items right there looking like they need some dark magic or potentially just some Leviosa. And we're going to go ahead and pay specific attention to this little tub or I don't know, it's like a half a coffin or something. We're gonna go ahead and zap it, and it turns out it's a flower pot. And once we zap it, it like grows this crazy, like, I don't know what it is, a vine. And oh, to the yeah, we get Madame Pumphrey. Uh, yeah, so Madame Pumphrey, who's Madame Pumphrey? I'm not even sure. Uh, anyhow, we got that. Oh, on the right hand side of the room, there is a chest with a silver lock on it. We're gonna go ahead and blast that off with Reducto and collect Neville. And uh, no, I don't know why, I just always have loved Neville. He's one of my favorites. And, all right, so we got more studs floating around, a bluesy in the back, and yeah, there's probably some other stuff that you could zap and bang, boom, and get some more studs all around the room. But we're gonna go ahead and dip out. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna manipulate that that Hufflepuff flag just a little bit and grab a few more studs on our way out. Yep, thank you very much. All right, see ya. All right, back in the common room corridor, we're gonna go up and to the right just a wee bit. And in order to get into, well, this happens to be the old Ravenclaw Corridor, uh, we're going to have to go ahead and put out the fires on the right-hand side. I don't know what that is. It's like a little podium there. Once we do, a little birdie flies down and weighs down the little statue there. And look at that. It opens the door and allows us entrance into the Ravenclaw Corridor. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and use Dark Magic as soon as we start things off. It looks like we got a student in peril and three character tokens right here. So Dark Magic on this wall immediately frees that student in peril. So turn that frown upside down. And inside, just a little bit further than where that student was in peril. We're going to find the Marcus Belby character token. So uh, pretty sweet. And we're going to make our way off to the right, head up these stairs, and check it out. We've got Moaning Myrtle who dips out. And we notice that there is some silver bars or bricks blocking these three different, I don't know what they are, banners of some sort. But once you blast all three of them, it reveals a character in each one. And then... Finally gives us the character token for Moaning Myrtle. And just beyond where we saw Myrtle for the first time, there is a Quibbler Dispenser, a.k.a. 3D Goggles, baby. We're going to go ahead and grab those and head up to the top of the stairs. And look at that. We've got some bricks that were not uh, capable of being spotted without these 3D Goggles. And we'll use that to build up a, a knocker, I guess is what it is. And we'll go ahead and knock, knock, knock on that door. And look at that, we actually got a character token for Luna in the pink dress. So she's looking rather dapper in her pink dress. And we're done in this area. We'll take a quick peek at the old guide for the area. And he claps with joy. We'll jump as well. And so yeah, we're out of there. So next up, we've got the Gryffindor common room. So we'll go ahead and uh, make our way on over there right about now. See, looks like I was uh, gonna edit that out for some reason, but I didn't. And to be honest, I've already got all the quick links and everything documented, so I didn't want to edit it out and have to change all those. So we'll go ahead and just leave that in there and laugh at me now and later. And meanwhile, we'll go ahead and head into the Gryffindor common room. And that's through the long hallway there. Once we're in here, we're gonna check out the guide. And as uh, we've already gotten behind here, we're gonna go ahead and blast this bookcase just to the left of the middle of the room and rebuild the bricks that fall from that to go ahead and jump up top and get Hermione in her ball gown. Now, on the right-hand side of the room, just to the right of the ghost, you'll probably notice well, uh, I think we have to zap something. Oh, it's right there on the floor. There is a purple dart, or poiple dart. We'll go ahead and aim that over to the right-hand side. There is a little target, which looks like it might be Draco. I'm pretty sure that's Mr. Draco Malfoy. But look at that. We got Harry in his pajama jammy jams. So that's pretty nice. And on the way out, you probably already messed with this. There is a picture frame that needed to be leviosed and flipped around. And I believe you have to do that as part of the story earlier. But uh, go ahead and zap the guy in the painting, and he'll go ahead and kick down with the character token for Jenny and her pajama jammy jams too. So 
I don't know if you guys are old like me, but there was a movie a long time ago called House Party, and they had this giant party, and they had a pajama party, but they called it a pajama jammy jam. <laughs> so that's where I'm getting that from. Normally I ask you guys, but I figured I'd just tell you since I'm an old fart, and that's from a long time ago. All right, we put out the fires in the fireplace there. You can see we actually turned that frown upside down and freed that student in peril. Now we're going to switch to Ron and pull out his Deluminator lamp. And just to the right of the fireplace, there is the light source. We'll take that source over to the left-hand side just by where we got that uh, character token up on the bookshelf there. And look at that. The wizards inside the painting go ahead and throw down McGonagall in her pajamas. So we, we are literally capable of having our own pajama jammy jam. We got all these fools in pajamas. Uh, you know, and if I'm being completely, totally honest... I am still in my pajamas right now. I, <laughs> pajamas for me eh, results in like some sweatpants and a t-shirt, so that's my pajamas. But hey, uh, all right, so you might have noticed some things bouncing around on the floor. We used Leviosa to build them up. We did have to slam uh, the hat on top, and then I kind of got stuck. I'm like, which way did it go? Which, which way do I go? Uh, and as it turns out, you have to do a little bouncing on the bed. So boys and girls, I do not recommend doing this at home. Uh, parents, feel free, because you're probably the one that paid for the bed, and you have the right to do whatever you want to do. But anyhow, we have to bust off the roofs of these beds and get our bounce on, and each time you bounce on these beds, it actually gives us a few bricks, and once you bounce on all of them, you'll have all of the remaining bricks needed to go ahead and finish off this little puzzle in here. And guess what? It's going to give us the area go brick. So it's coming up. Ready for it? Ready for it? There's a couple of mini fig feet there, too. I'm not sure what that's all about. But, oh, rocket ships ago. And check that out. It takes off. And, oh, Houston, we have a problem. But good news is the problem isn't that we're lacking a gold brick. We got that. And guess what? We got some studs we can clean up. Or we can just go ahead and roll on out of here. But you know me, once I uh, see some studs, I got to get them all, got to get them all. So I grab a few, and eventually I make my way out of the boys' dormitory. And all right, so there is one bed over there. Oh, I take a quick peek, but then I realize, wait a minute, I'm not ready for that yet. We got to go out here and check out the old ghost guide. Check it out. We got everybody in this area. And so I give a quick look, and then I'm like, wait a minute, that's still not the main area. Let's go to the main, main area. So back out to the common room corridor here. Back out. I believe that's nearly headless, Nick. We got all seven, the gold brick, and that student in peril. So uh, we are getting a lot closer. We're only 60.9%, but I got to be honest, a lot of that percentage is going to to be uh, accumulated when we purchase the characters from Madam Malkins. Now, a lot of these characters we've already unlocked, and we've gotten a small percentage for unlocking them, but we get another small percentage for purchasing them. So uh, that'll come quick, fast. And speaking of quick, fast, this video ending has come quick, fast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. And speaking of down below, in the video description, we also have links for all of our fun stuff, including happythumbsgaming.com, our patreon.com account, uh, the map, Created by Bonefish Gamer for this particular series, Lego Harry Potter Fat Through Seven. There's all sorts of stuff down there, so go ahead and check it out. And uh, hey, as for me, I'm getting to the end of this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up as always. Until next time. Hey, I said until next time. Like, come on. Like, why do I always? No, I'm just kidding. Slip. <laughs>